So we first heard about Carlos. One of the neighbors in the neighborhood told us that she saw two coyotes chasing a dachshund across her golf course. And we knew that there were coyotes out there because they were on our game cameras every single night for another dog that we're actively trying to catch right now. So we didn't think that he really would have any chance of making it through the night against two coyotes. So Carlos was seen on the golf course on a Wednesday and no one had ever seen him before. When we saw Carlos on the neighbor's security camera the next morning, we were just surprised. We had no clue how a tiny little dachshund could outsmart or outrun these coyotes on such an open piece of space. So he must have found a little area to burrow in, which is really common for dachshunds. They are really great diggers. So he must have found a hiding spot to kind of wait it out through the night. And when he came on the neighbor's cameras, everybody in the neighborhood was so excited to see that he actually survived. It's possible that he might have been left in the neighborhood. He's about six years old and he wasn't fixed and he was really, really skinny. So we don't know how long he was out there before someone actually saw him. And it was in a really nice area. So we like, we, we don't know why a long haired dappled dachshund that everybody was in love with, you know, why he was just loose and no one was looking for him. So the way that our rescue works is that in Texas, we get the dogs and we get them healthy. And then once they're healthy, we send them to our partners. And so our partners um, use the information that we give them to match them up with a good home. And sometimes they'll tell us, um, but most of the time we just trust them and they pick the good home. And then probably like a month later, we'll get like adoption updates on the dogs. So that was probably a, about a month ago that we caught him um, in the neighborhood. And we immediately started trying to find owners of him because he's a unique color and a purebred dog. We thought that surely someone was looking for him and we haven't been able to find anybody that's looking for Carlos. So we don't know why he ended up there, but he's safe now. So whenever we first got Carlos, he was really shy and you'd have to kind of chase him around the yard to get him and or keep a leash on him so that you can pick him up or else he'd try to run from you. Um, he never really interacted with the other dogs. He was happy to be around them, but he's not a big player and he's a major couch potato. So anytime he was inside, he was on the couch. And if you couldn't find him, he was on the couch. <laughs> I mean, rescuing is kind of one of those things that we, it's just so rewarding. You'll sit there and just, I'm like so happy that we have this dog now because you'll have seen him, you know, kind of shivering in the rain somewhere. And now this dog's like under your blanket. There's a lot of helping humans in dog rescue you would be doing a disservice if you think it's just about the animals because it's really about sometimes helping people keep their animals or um, helping people find their animals that get loose. So we love like all parts of rescue. And um, I like that my husband does it with me. <laughs> well, actually there was space for him to travel this weekend. So we um, transported him to Wisconsin this weekend and he's with one of our adoption partners and he has a potential adopter with um, two other dachshunds and she also works from home. So he probably is getting adopted within a week. <laughs>